What is up, YouTube? It's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com, and we have an awesome video for you today. You know, back uh, a few weeks back when City Extender was first released, we had all these issues. People even lost their jailbreaks that were having so many problems. It was just so difficult to use. Uh, eventually, I started stating that I did not recommend you use that. Well, good news, guys that has changed we have now a new developer called matt clark by matchstick he has updated this uh and it is also available on reddit so that should tell you that this is an awesome tweak because the previous version of city extender was posted on reddit and taken down because of all the bad issues people were having with it but with this new version, guys, I'm here to tell you it works phenomenal. I'm going to show you how to get it. Very, very easy to do. And we'll even show you how to use it. So let's dive right in. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add a source. And we'll have that source for you in the description below. But just so you know what it is, it is called Matchstick. And that is it right there on the screen, you see. It's Matchstick. It's actually HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash repo dot incendo dot WS. And we'll have that on the screen and in the description for you. You have to make sure that before you install this, you don't have any other versions of Cydia Extender. Make sure you have removed the uh, Julio uh, uh, Vern, I think it was version of this a city extender that's the one that was having so much problems the good city extender is the one by matt clark and matchsticks repo keep that in mind that is a must so keep that in mind so after you get that installed open up that repo and just go up to all packages and look for the city extender installer now, the first time you install it, it's going to look a little bit different. It will actually look like this right here. Cydia, I'm sorry, Extender Installer. You need to install that. Now, when you install that, it'll take maybe a minute or two for it to install, but it's going to do a few things. First of all, it's going to add an icon to your springboard or your home screen, whatever you want to call it, that looks like that icon on the bottom right that says extender under it it's got like the little extending things there whatever you want to call those uh, but anyway this is the app that you're going to use to sign the yalu uh, application you no longer have to sign it manually every seven days uh, if you accidentally forget it no worries this is going to do it for you we're going to set it up one time and that should be it you should be set and ready to go. So once you get this installed, uh, it'll go ahead and restart your device, of course, and you'll have this new icon. Go ahead and open it up. And once inside, there's going to be a few options for you. Now, down at the bottom is the main thing here. Click Installed. Now, right here, you're going to, of course, Yalu 102 will be there. But any other apps you may have signed and put in here, anything you've used with, uh, let's say, Cydia Impactor could be here, okay? So keep that in mind. <clears throat> now, on the more side, now, before you start, and I should have said this first, uh, you need to sign in with your Apple ID up here at the top. Make sure you sign in with a legitimate I I Apple ID. Now, if you use one specifically for just signing your apps, use that one. But this is a 100% safe app, guys. Uh, this works solely, solely with Sarix, uh, uh, City Impactor Tool. There's nothing, nothing uh, to be afraid of. This is 100% safe. I wouldn't be sharing it with you no other way. Now, right here where it says Resign Threshold, that goes from one to six days. And you can resign your app whenever you want to. Uh, they have six days because they only have six days because on the seventh day, of course, 
uh, it runs out. And they just don't want it to run out. That way they sign it on the sixth day. It does it automatically. You don't have to do anything, and you're all set. It's a very, very good app, guys. Down here at the mower, you can go under here, and you can actually revoke uh, your uh, actual repo by going to, I'm not, not repo, but uh, the certificate. Go to troubleshooting right here, and you see right here where it says revoke certificate. If we tap that, it will actually revoke, and I'm going to go ahead and revoke it and show you that this works. So you see right there it says one certificate was revoked. And the, it says the next resign may give a could not extract archive error. This is fine and, and just to be ignored. So keep that in mind too, guys. You may get that little could not extract error. That's perfectly normal. Click OK. Now we're going to go back out here and we're going to resign, okay? So let's go back down here to the to the installed. You hit the little eye there. It tells you all about how, when it was last signed. Blah, blah, blah. It says it was last signed on 5-2. Close it extender now we're going to re-sign by tapping the top left up there at the top it says re-sign just tap top just tap re-sign and click re-sign and now it does everything for you see how fast it put that password in there it went through all that and see that little error that popped up you see that other error up there that's coming from flux that's another uh, application i have installed that i did not use uh, City Impactor. I actually used Xcode to install it. So once that is signed, now we can come back over here and open up Cydia. And you see Cydia is working. Here are my installed versions. Here's the home screen. Everything is right back up and running. This is a phenomenal tool, guys. Grab it. I know it's going to help you. It's been a long time coming, but we finally got it. City Extender has been updated. Hit that share button, guys. Let's get the word out and keep coming back.